Travis Wayne Goodso. The government of Utah has a uh, website for uh, the listing and uh, location of any and all sex offenders in Utah so that you put in the location and it will inform you of who is on the sex offender registry and where they are located in your proximity and uh, so finding out who's here on the sex offender registry uh, is easily done and so I bring this out because if a person who's supposed to be on the sex offender registry does not put himself on the sex offender registry they get in worse trouble with the law and uh, I tell you this because this morning I found a very threatening comment by a person who used my incarceration photo not my mugshot my incarceration photo and had the name sex offender good cell and accused me therefore of being a sexual predator now if that were the case I'd be on the sex offender registry and any and all of you should be able to go to that website that I talked about and find me if I were that I'm not and if I've refused to put myself on there I would have long since been in trouble with the law for not putting myself on there because I've been in contact with the police on multiple occasions while being here and they would have done their check on me and found out that I'm supposed to be on the sex offender registry and I'm not and so criminals know better than to communicate with the cops and so this person is a very dangerous person as it's not just a funny joke it is a severe death threat with intent to destroy my reputation not just ruin my reputation among other people and uh, as a result uh, the cops should be brought in but YouTube does not allow me to do so as all I can do is report them and then they disappear and it's the Mormon Church that teaches Mormons to be sexual predators and it began with the Danites of Brigham and Heber C. Kimball as they joined the church because Joseph Smith senior was responsible for saving America in the disappearance of William Morgan in Canandaigua New York 1826 William Morgan was working with Joseph Smith senior to make the what has now become the Book of Mormon and because William Morgan had to flee the country it was Joseph Smith senior's responsibility to finish the book and Heber C Kimball in his Wikipedia uh, page on masonry we learned that Heber C Kimball knew that this was the case and therefore because he does not say Joseph Smith senior was the master mason and so when they presented me with the Book of Mormon I knew it was true and I converted to spread the word of the Book of Mormon no he doesn't do any of it instead he keeps it hidden from us and it's in his journal of all things he keeps us all a secret in his own journal and there were lots of Mormons who were purposely using their journals to frame Joseph Smith K. 
case in point with the sexual predatorness of Joseph Smith. He was framed by all those women who were kidnapped and held hostage by the Danites. And so uh, the, uh, the Kimball family does not want you to know that Heber C. Kimball married a second wife in 1829 the year before the church was organized and so the year before uh, Heber C. Kimball would have even known about the church and about the Book of Mormon he did it on his own he was a practicing polygamist in violation of the laws of the United States and uh, this is in their family records but they don't want it known to the public so the public accounting of his wives skips her. Isn't that fun? But nonetheless uh, and so you need to know this information about Heber C. Kimball about Brigham Young because you know when you first hear isolated from all other facts and evidence that Brigham Young would go on his mission all by himself rather than in twos and I go to married women's homes with the husband not there go into their bedroom come out an hour later according to the testimony of the children and what continued with his missionary work in England you, you sort of dismiss that they're being serious but when you put all the pieces together you realize yeah there's some sexual deviance going on here that uh, is being practiced by Brigham and Heber C. Kimball and that's what the Danites were doing they used Joseph Smith to commit crimes in the name of Joseph Smith but they were all doing it in secret without Joseph's knowledge but you find that Joseph Smith did find out about it with certain people that had to be excommunicated like John C. Bennett for example and uh, the Danites therefore had to reject John C. Bennett as he then went on to form his own Illuminati organization and so yes I get frustrated now that I've made the tie to the Illuminati through the church's history and to hear the local liberal news denounce the existence of the Illuminati when the Illuminati symbols are all over Temple Square <clears throat> with the Eagle Gate of Brigham Young and the Salt Lake Temple with the keystone but uh, I, their uh, deviance had to be in secret because of the law it's illegal to practice polygamy openly the United States has never had a problem with citizens going to a bar or tavern and paying for a prostitute there are now states that disapprove of paying for sex but uh, they still allow you to pay through other means such as buying a, a drink of alcohol or uh, uh, buying chocolates flowers teddy bears dinner uh, any kind of amusement and entertainment and then having sex <clears throat> somehow that's dating <laughs> but just paying money up front that's prostitution <sighs> it's the same thing very confusing but uh, <coughs> the United States is okay with citizens having sex and not requiring marriage of them but yet once you have a marriage license it has to be with just one person and uh, the uh, law of uh, adultery is no longer uh, 
on the books, I think, for at least most states. <coughs> Not sure if there's still a law in one particular state that says adultery is illegal. I think most of that has gone away. And so, uh, with the assassination of Joseph Smith, you then have Brigham Young uh, assassinating Samuel Smith with poisoning, excommunicating others who disapproved of him, and uh, Sidney Rigdon going his own way. And so, might makes right as Brigham Young dominates the church now just muscles his way into leadership and who's gonna stop him who dares to molest and make afraid the Mr. Illuminati leader through the the uh, Confederates of the church and yes you notice the Confederates all have the inverted pentagram in some form or fashion that's because of their origin I've gone over with you the symbols they use to uh, associate themselves <coughs> and so Brigham went to other women who were not involved in their polygamy and and said Joseph was doing this in secret he had the 14 16 year old girls that he had sex with which was William Morgan because William Morgan in 1843 secretly got sealed to the two sisters who were 14 and 16 years old they were framing Joseph still after his death to justify continuing the practice and went uh, westward with all of these women in the illegal practice of polygamy and when you include tithing yeah you've got a very serious crime that's being on going on here with sex trafficking it's not just transporting of a woman in a polygamous marriage you're now uh, involving money transactions for this purpose tithing would have to be a different vi video today because I'm already going late a Mormon employee for Christmas decided to screw me but nonetheless <coughs> I had to keep my videos short but uh, uh, getting to the valley I uh, he uh, intended to coup the church but that's the Confederate part that is not a part of this sexual deviance he uh, uh, started the Perpetual Immigration Fund in 1849, which again is part of the tithing scam that was he was involved with. But it again involved bringing women into the church, and missionaries were going out and converting women to be a part of. Uh, polygamous relationships because the United States in 1848 took over Brigham Young's kingdom and so he was trying to counteract that with the perpetual immigration firm. and so in 1851 Brigham decided to give the middle finger to the government and openly declared at the pulpit of conference that polygamy is now going to be officially practiced by all members of the church openly and in defiance of the American law and <coughs> and so everybody was now required to to uh, get uh, extra wives to be righteous and so yes you have to dig into the children in order to do this and accomplish this and so thus why Joseph Smith was framed with underage girls which never happened and you get all these women writing in their journals that it did and to perpetuate the practice after declaring it openly Brigham Young had his temple rituals the endowment it was his creation not Joseph's with the law of chastity 
record, which involved polygamy, obviously. And uh, after the United States shut them down, I, it became necessary for the church under Heber J. Grant to not put polygamy in their temples anymore. The Reed Smoot hearings at Congress uh, exposed that the church was still practicing it in the temples. And so the church had to remove polygamy from the temple. But Brigham Young was able to sneak in with section 132 the year before he died to ensure that Polygamy would still be involved in Mormon scripture, again, framing Joseph for it. But I've done the linguistic analysis of Brigham Young's talks and his endowment ceremony. It's an exact match to him, not Joseph. <coughs> and so that whole claim of the Danites going to Emma and saying, Joseph is practicing polygamy, you need to or you're going to die. You need to put things into perspective. It wasn't Joseph. And, uh, and so, Hebrew J. Grant changed it to legally and lawfully wedded. And that is to conform to the laws of the United States. And uh, it involved sexual intercourse. That was the wording that was used. And uh, over the course of time when birth control was invented and condoms, the church tried to step in, but didn't alter the temple text. They were just preaching over the pulpit their commandments to control Mormon couples' sex lives. That uh, only the missionary position and only for breeding are you required to have sex. And of course, the nature of man cannot do that. And uh, the church had to back off out of all of that. But they still suppressed women by denying the Equal Rights Amendment and uh, other rights to women from the civil rights movement that women were a part of as well, not just blacks. <coughs> and, uh, and so... Uh, Benson, in 1991, changed the law of chastity wording so that it's now any sexual relationships. And when you understand the science, because apparently our nation does not want to teach us proper sex education, the only definition of sex is a sperm entering the egg and producing a baby. That's the definition of sex. And yet, you can see in our culture, the expanded definition. And the church is manipulating Mormons because of this, to try to control Mormons' sexuality. As uh, the Bible talks about virgins, or maidens, and women. And if you can't figure it out, a woman becomes a woman after she's had children, not any kind of sexual relation in the expanded definition. And so, again, Christianity and the church do not want you to know this. But uh, <clears throat> with so much confusion with the law, and uh, confusion with churches miseducating people uh, you can see why there's so much confusion and when you teach abstinence for guys and you order them to only do it within the marriage and in the missionary position for breeding you then get the sexual predators that is very dominant here in Utah because we are not built that way 
Nonetheless, the Nelson has made the change in 2019, in which it's now legally and lawfully, according to his law, his being capitalized, referring to God. And so what is that law that is being referred to? Section 132. And that's about polygamy, which Brigham Young snuck in to frame Joseph for so that he can keep the practice of polygamy going. And now Nelson changed the pronouns to the plural also in that context for the sole purpose of bringing back polygamy. And as I went over with you, you cannot just practice polygamy with adults because you run out of adults and thus you have to dip into the child brides and so you don't see it because too much time has gone by you should catch on because the FLDS Church of Warren Jeffs they got busted for snap fraud violations but that allowed the government to find out about the child brides that was going on and lock up Warren Jeffs for that but uh, you need to understand that when any organization starts the practice of polygamy, they will eventually have to dip into the girls, the virgins, who are underage. And the amendment has lowered the age of an adult to 18. Although, again, the laws are confusing. You have to wait until you're 21 to buy a gun or smoke and drink, but you can enlist to go fight for your country at 18, and you can get a license to drive at 15 or 16. Very confusing. But nonetheless, it was 21 during Joseph Smith's time and during Brigham Young's time. <coughs> And so, that's important to know in the context of, of crimes that were going on by Brigham Young's Danites. And so, uh, yeah, be very wary, because the church gets very upset when I do a video about their sexual trafficking and their sexual promiscuity. They were furious when I presented this in my federal filing against the church in 2019 into 2020. And that's why they've you know, destroyed my life. But unless you've been following me this whole time, you would not know this information. You're just going to see the one piece and go, I don't believe it, because you're not looking at the whole evidence. You're doing a hasty generalization and small sampling and, and refusing to believe because you still think the church is true. No. If they win and get to establish their sign again, and this is what they're doing under Nelson, they're buying up land for the sole purpose of restoring their kingdom and not just in Utah but throughout the world trying to get as much land as they can because they know what's coming they know what the money they paid to Russia for is going to be used for and, uh, and so you will not like it even if you're a guy you will not like it because leaders come first to get their choice of women just like with Warren Jeffs the leaders and so the guys in order to make sure that the leaders got wives the boys became the lost boys because they were kicked out of the group the, the church <laughs> because they you know, posed in opposition to having sex with the underage girls their age. So, yes, you will see this. 
Maybe not at first. Because again, the church is taking their time on this, doing one thing at a time, step by step. What they can get away with in the law, they keep moving forward. And they've already gotten the Respect for Marriage Act passed with their amendment, which had nothing to do with their respect for gay marriage. They purposely put it in there for the exemption clause for religions. And then we still have the uh, web designer in the Supreme Court that will allow Mormons to again say, nope, sorry, you can't buy from my store because you have a marriage I disapprove of. You're of a religion I disapprove of. You don't approve of the Mormon church. You're out. <coughs> so that's coming. And then plus the attempted civil war and if you don't know about the Civil War, it started with states seceding from the nation, forming the Confederacy. And so that will happen first, before a shot gets fired, even though shots are already being fired. But uh, it's coming. So, I, yeah, I just this video is too long. I don't know if it's going to make it on there. But this is what the church is up to, and this is what they're going to do if they're allowed to do it. And so far, the government's allowing them to do it. And that should worry everybody.